Morning. Good morning, 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 morning. Morning, morning. Today's bin day. Too bad. All these are going to be rocks down here. You can see a little bit of pastel on there. I'm going to make that a little bit uh, bluer. I'm going to make that a little bit greener. And then it's going to be a little bit bluer there. And I might put some indigo on it. I might not. Let's see how it goes. Oh, hay fever. And once I've done that, I'm done with this picture forever. Might do, um, who's that? Misha! Uh, do you get deers outside your gaff like that every morning? And I've got terrible hay fever. What's these injections that you have? Oh. Do you have to pay for it? Fifty quid. Right. Nice and chilled. I'll pop that over the top. That's not wet enough. I can have it around. I think I'm going to leave that alone up there. And... I've been told to stop whistling down the phone. These little dribbles here.
can be a pain. I'm supposed to be describing what's going out the uh, the window. That's it. Um, absolutely nothing. It was a blackbird in a tree. In my tree. There's a bloke. He looks quite suspicious. Um, he has a dog with him. Um, he's got a limp. No, this man has a limp and a slightly pained expression. He has a really pained expression on his face. Don't know what he's been up to. Probably burglarising somebody's house and fell out the window. Should be more careful. There's a uh, man and woman with a border collie. He has a rucksack on. You don't have a rucksack. You can take your dog for a walk. Do you? Bethany? Do you think that's suspicious? Got a rucksack on. Taking a dog for a walk. Yeah. It's going to be a really nice day. A really nice day. But I will be indoors. Because of the uh, hay fever. There's absolutely no way air indoors is going to say... 50 quid, that's a good use of money. So I'll just have to suck it up. Um, it's, it's a lovely photograph, Mish, but... Um, it's not gonna. It's not gonna transfer into a painting. He, um, she is is too much in in shadow for one thing. Yeah, so it it just won't work. There was a lovely picture of her. I saw, and I thought that would make a nice picture, but I can't remember what it was. It was something painting. I am letting this dry. Um, photographs. If you get up really early, just take loads and loads and loads of uh, different times of the day. I mean, that's the best way to get a good picture. I'm not a good photographer. I, I just take thousands of them. I'm going to let that dry a bit longer. Okay, just looking at Matthew's chess move, and he has spotted me. So take loads, me. Take loads. They don't even need to be with a proper camera. They can just be with a phone. This is going to be the very last wash I do on here. Um, and so I need to be uh, patient. We need to be patient and just watch paint dry. Not even paint.
dulu ya. Where's everybody gone? Right, now, I'm going to turn this around. And can you see where it's, it's a little bit um, darker down there? Um, what about waffling on about? What am I waffling on about? Whistling. Everybody's disappeared. Where's everybody gone? A bit more patience. What's happening? Outside, there's a white van. It's gone past. I am going to let that dry a little bit longer and then I'm going to be putting a darker colour on and everybody's disappeared. And nothing's happening outside. When I say that, there'll be some crime going off. One of the problems with... Oh, it's there. I found it. Stop looking. Right, I want this to be dark and chewy. There is a lady walking down the street and she has something in her hand. And it is a... I don't know what it is. It's a pink thing. Bored dad with two girls and a dog. Yeah, he uh, he started off lockdown 
so enthusiastic. Oh, we're going to do this. Oh, we're going to do that. And now you can see it's losing the will to live. All, all thoughts of how wonderful it would be to stay at home and look after his two little girls is all gone now. Yeah. They never, ever shut up. They're asking stupid questions all the time. And he just wants to shout because it does. He just wants to hide away upstairs on his laptop and play Grand Theft Auto. In fact, why did he have children in his first place? He didn't want kids. It was her that wanted kids. No. I don't know who he is, by the way. I'm just speculating by the expression on his face. That's what uh, that's what he was thinking. Me and um, me and our moo, which is my um, daughter, that can be a little bit uh, challenging at times. Um, we like nothing more than standing two cars. Nothing happens and then two cars go past at the same time. That is, tell me that's not suspicious. Uh, nothing more than sitting outside a cafe or somewhere making stuff up about people who come in. Have you ever done it? An old couple, old couple have just come past holding hands. That is dodgy. That is dodgy. He has obviously got a secret family somewhere. I know um, someone is going to go, oh no, we, we always hold hands. I think Rachel, when she hears this, will go, no, we always hold hands. Yeah, we've always held hands. <laughs> Just don't do it, mate. Uh, something is up, to, is up to something. He's probably rifling through your knickers or the minute you go to work. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> oh dear, I should say these things quietly to myself. Prancing around the bedroom with him on his head. Who's that? Hello, Claire! Um, Misha, who's uh, been um, in lockdown now for um, weeks, um, she hasn't wore clothes for a month now. She just um, she's just gone. To, she's gone feral. She um, she couldn't get out to the shops because the uh, the barrier at Forest Holidays has been closed. So uh, she's had to sort of. Um, catch whatever she can and she's been living on pigeons and squirrels for ages and she doesn't even bother cooking them now she just rips rips into them with her bare teeth which have sort of with all the um animals that she's been eating and whatever they've just sort of gone to points yeah so uh hair's all matted it's gone completely completely feral yeah, 
she occasionally gets down to make it to that uh, road on the way to uh, what's it called King's Clipston and uh, she uh, squats in a tree stark naked barking at uh, trees as they go at uh, trees as they go past at um, cars as they're going past you often see her um, we're going to try I mean, once lockdown's, lockdown's over we are going to try and civilise her again but they say it's going to be very very difficult now she's gone totally feral yeah hmm. there have been some cats gone missing in the uh, area it's not necessarily you know it's just, you know Innocent until proven guilty, but uh, suspected, right? There's a man and woman walking down the street. He is two meters behind her, um, but they are actually together, which is weird. He's also got a rucksack. Now tell me something suspicious isn't going off. She can um, she can communicate. Um, this is like a series of growls and spits. Yeah, she. Uh... And she's a very very fast one, especially when the hunt. It's quite a beautiful thing to see her when she's on the hunt. She runs on all fours. And uh, I'm losing the plot. Right. I'm going to let that dry for a bit. I'm going to do it up with pastels and then hope you like Kilimanjaro. Right, that just dribbled like that. That just dribbled up there like that. And I thought I'll make that into a little bit of land. And uh, then it dribbled much further than I thought. So now. If it dribbles into a volcano, then that's what it's going to be. <laughs> I I was just reading that, and I thought I was growing a you you're sort of covered in body hair now because you've not worn any clothes for such a long time. You now got to like a downy. <laughs> Right. I was told before this kicked off that I've got liver damage and I had to eat healthily. I've had to eat healthily in a lockdown. Right, I'm going to tell you the last thing that's going on. There's a bloke on his phone whilst taking the dog a walk. Disgraceful. He should be concentrating, but no. Right. I'm going now. Five, four, three, two, one, and see you later. And for God's sake, put some clothes on me.